in terms of what you said about the way that you trade then it sounds like you've incorporated a lot of habits and actual like lifestyle into what you're designing in terms of the way that you're patient with your trades you're not sitting there clicking the whole time a lot of discipline is in there i assume the style has changed in terms of the way that you've traded from going back to the 80s to today um and like you also mentioned risk management so in terms of the your habits and the actual way that you interact your life how have you built those disciplines you know everything i've done is through trial and error because as i said earlier there wasn't really many people that you could learn from or not weren't that many books that you could study from um you know we were all kind of pioneers so yeah it was basically by making mistakes and i'm very adhd i'm impatient and i'm greedy and i'm all the things that i shouldn't be so i had to by losing establish all these rules to stop myself jumping in too early make sure i'm patient make sure i don't take too much risk make sure i wait for a good opportunity make sure i'm patient on on the exit scale out maybe in order to make sure you know because even when you everyone thinks about trading being stressful when you lose money but trading is actually stressful when you're winning because if i'm in a trade and i'm and it's working like my my target my, my, my might be in here and my target might be here but when we're here i'm making a nice profit on the trade and i'm thinking i don't want to lose that money but i know that it's probably going to go there so you know is that how do i hang on uh you know leave the room don't what don't screen watch but you know i also scale out of a trade so they just sort of soothes that anxiety right i've hit i've come here i'm now there's now an amount of money in the account that i don't want to see evaporate so i will just maybe take a quarter of the position off it'll just make me breathe a bit right okay i bagged a bit of profit and now i, I if we go to the next target i'm going to feel happy you built muscles you yeah. built habits that remove yeah. emotion from yeah you have if to, this happens you do this and mm. this happens you i find you, cool. the the key is to really just remove the emo remove the emotion mm-hmm you know, and uh, being ADHD, I, I like dopamine <laughs> hit. So, you know, for that we all like the, that we all, yeah, <laughs> but you've got to avoid the highs and the lows. You've got to, you know, you've got to avoid the, if, you, if you're trading for excitement, that's terrific, but that means you're trading for entertainment. You're not really taking it seriously as a business. And if you, if you, if it's something, if you're trying to get into trading for a career or just build a, a second revenue stream, I think it's really advisable to examine how your emotions are and how to keep them in check.